Uh, before we, first of all, I'd like to recognize uh, we got a whole set of new fans here. Uh, welcome. Those are, uh, this is a bring your kid to work day. And it's good for the kids to know what their parents are actually doing. Uh, so welcome. And uh, we must continue on. So I think we're going to hear all the presentation before we are going into the question mode. So I understand the next is uh, Earth Canada. And uh, Mr. Ayer, you will make the presentation. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning. My name is Brian Ayer and I'm the director of the Radiation Protection Bureau within Health Canada. I'm accompanied today by Mr. Andrew Adams, Director General of the Environmental and Radiation Health Sciences Directorate, who will also be able to answer any questions. I'd like to thank the Commission for the invitation to Health Canada to present on the Federal Perspective on Exercise Unified Response. As you're aware, Health Canada is the lead department for the Federal Nuclear Emergency Plan, and we, along with the Public Health Agency of Canada, also within the federal health portfolio, were the federal sponsors of Exercise Unified Response. The purpose of my presentation is to provide an overview of Health Canada's objectives leading up to, the, up to Exercise Unified Response, observations on the exercise from the federal perspective, including successes and areas for improvement, and a brief discussion on the actions that have already been launched to address lessons learned. <clears throat> Before discussing the details of Exercise Unified Response, I would like to provide a brief recap of some of the main elements of the Federal Nuclear Emergency Plan, or FINEP, as this provides the context for federal involvement in XUR. <clears throat> as you are aware, the FINEP is a federal event-specific emergency management plan under authority of Health Canada. It describes the federal government's preparedness and response framework to manage the radiological hazards from a nuclear emergency that could impact Canada or Canadians domestically or abroad from a range of scenarios. It does this by integrating with the Government of Canada's overarching Federal Emergency Response Plan, or FERP, that is led by Public Safety Canada, to provide additional arrangements necessary to address the health risk associated with a nuclear emergency. The FINEP describes the federal government's aim, organization, and concept of operations for coordinating the federal response to a nuclear emergency in support of impacted provinces and territories and to address areas of federal jurisdiction. It also importantly contains provincial annexes, which are developed in cooperation with provincial authorities, that describe the interface between federal and provincial emergency management organizations, including the type of assets that can be made available to assist in a response. The FINEP involves 18 federal organizations that have a role for nuclear emergency preparedness and response. And as you heard earlier in the day, the current fifth version of the plan has been endorsed by the Deputy Minister's Emergency Management Committee. The process that led to the fifth edition of the FINEP was launched in 2010, following publication of the revised Federal Emergency Response Plan. The main objective of the revision was to fully integrate the FINEP with the FERP, after which it would be tested in a large-scale exercise. Following extensive consultations with federal and provincial partners, the FINEP was endorsed by the DM's Emergency Management Committee in October 2012 with the agreement to validate the revised FINEP in a national full-scale exercise. <clears throat> to address this request, Health Canada established an 18-month 18, 18 exercise program referred to as the Validex series, whose goals were to increase readiness of the federal partners under the FINEP, lead to the conduct of a national full-scale exercise, and of course to validate the FINEP itself. <clears throat> Key elements of the Validex series were a tabletop exercise that was held in February 2013 that focused on the FINEP Technical Assessment Group, two national nuclear emergency preparedness workshops in Toronto and St. John in March of 2013 that were organized in cooperation with Public Safety Canada, CNSC, as well as provincial authorities that brought together federal, provincial, municipal and city authorities and the nuclear operators to discuss the interfaces and actions to manage a severe nuclear emergency. A two-day command post exercise called Exercise Cool Breeze in October 2013 that brought together federal organizations and some elements from the province of Ontario, and finally integration and participation in the multi-jurisdictional exercise unified response. Federal planning for XUR was led by the health portfolio. Building on outcomes of the earlier Validex activities, as well as the Tier 1 objectives mentioned in the uh, previous presentation, the federal interdepartmental tier two objectives for exercise unified response were to exercise the federal emergency response plan 
in support of the response to a Category A nuclear power plant emergency as defined in the FINEP, and to test the FINEP for coordinating scientific and technical resources to support the federal response to such an emergency. <laughs> Clearly, an additional overarching objective was to complete the validation of the FINEP 5th edition as directed by the Deputy Minister's Emergency Management Committee. These high-level objectives were supported by a series of more detailed enabling objectives, which included, amongst others, to exercise federal government event response coordination as, de as defined in the Federal Emergency Response Plan, to exercise federal coordination of public communications during a nuclear emergency, to assess the notification and monitoring function in accordance with the FINEP, and to validate the assessment of radiological hazards and impacts in accordance with the FINEP, including the effectiveness of field operations. In addition to the common Tier 1 evaluation, other evaluations reflecting the various tiers of objectives have been undertaken. The Federal Interdepartmental After Action Report focuses on the evaluation, <coughs> observations, and lessons relevant to the Federal Tier 2 objectives that I touched on in the previous slide. <coughs> this report has been prepared by the Health Portfolio in consultation with all Federal exercise participants, and the report currently in draft responds to the Deputy Minister's Emergency Management Direction to validate FINEP and is intended as an Im improvement tool for Federal partners. <coughs> In order to clarify what is captured in the various after-action reports, this slide shows a simplified view of the interfaces between the various jurisdictions that would respond to a nuclear emergency in Canada, from the operator to municipalities and provinces to the federal and international levels. The federal interdepartmental after-action report focuses on the part of the response shown in this slide, namely the federal response under the integrated framework of the Federal Emergency Response Plan and Federal Nuclear Emergency Plan, as well as interactions with key provincial stakeholders, and to a limited ex extent, international partners. <clears throat> More precisely, this sh slide shows the governance structure as described in the FERP, including the Government Operations Centre, which is housed within Public Safety Canada, for coordinating the whole of government response, as well as the senior executive committees that make up part of the governance structure. These are supplemented by the coordinated arrangements described in the FINEP, and in particular, FINEP technical, the FINEP Technical Assessment Group, associated radiological task teams, and FINEP senior officers. Most of these elements were exercised as part of Exercise Unified Response, with the exception of the Deputy Ministers and Cabinet Committees. While these two committees were not engaged in the exercise, there was involvement up to Deputy Head level in several federal organizations, including within the health portfolio. I'll now provide a bit more information on the FINEP Technical Assessment Group and its interfaces, as these also were key aspects of the FINEP that were evaluated during the exercise. <clears throat> the FINEP Technical Assessment Group, or FINEP TAG, is a multi-departmental group composed of technical experts from, FINEP, from designated FINEP federal institutions and is chaired by Health Canada. Its activities include assessing the nuclear emergency situation, providing information on its possible evolution and potential off-site radiological impacts, supporting both field monitoring and human, mo human monitoring, and preparing technical communications products. The FINEP TAG does not do this in isolation. The FINEP TAG works in collaboration with the Government, of Oper Government Operations Centre and provincial science groups to maintain a consolidated situational awareness on the radiological hazard in order to support integrated planning and decision-making across the federal response, as well as to support provincial and territorial authorities. <laughs> TAG members include Health Canada, CNSC, Environment Canada, Natural Resources Canada, Department of Nas National yeah. Defence, ACL, and others that all contribute particular expertise or capabilities supporting a unified federal radiological assessment. <clears throat> During an emergency, the TAG gathers information and data from a variety of sources, including environmental data from Health Canada's cross-Canada radiation monitoring networks, radiation source term predictions from Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission and provincial science groups, atmospheric modeling products from Environment Canada and Health Canada, and in-field survey data from Natural Resources Canada, Health Canada, CFIA, ACL, others, other federal partners, as well as provincial partners, such as the Ontario Ministry of Labour. <clears throat> Technical assessments are produced by the TAG in close cooperation with the province, and the data and assessments produced by the group are shared with partner emergency operations centres, such as the government the Government Operations Centres, the Provincial Operations Centres, Field Operations Centres. They're shared through TAG technical summaries as well as through web-enabled tools developed by Health Canada. <clears throat> Exercise Unified Response included the participation of 18 federal organizations operating within the framework of the FERP and FINEP. 
Within the health portfolio alone, about 140 staff were involved, including the Deputy Minister of Health and Associate Deputy Minister of the Public Health Agency of Canada. The overarching conclusion of, is that the exercise successfully demonstrated the federal government's capability to provide an effective response to a nuclear emergency. This outcome was only possible as a result of the contributions and cooperation of all FINET partners. And in this regard, it is relevant to note that the success of Exercise Unified Response was built on the lessons learned and related corrective actions from the October 2013 exercise cool break. Another high-level conclusion is that federal players were pleased with the exercise and their level of play. The exercise improved their overall awareness of federal planning arrangements for a nuclear emergency, roles and activities of responding organizations, as well as information and response requirements. The evaluation has also shown that most of the Tier 2 federal objectives were achieved with some areas for improvements identified. Importantly, Exercise Unified Response successfully validated the Federal Nuclear Emergency Plan and demonstrated that its government, governance and concept of operations are sound. In this regard, the following conclusions have been made. Integration of FINEP with the All Hazards Arrangements of the FERP provides effective governance for nuclear emergency response. The draft FINEP Ontario Annex proved to be effective with respect to federal technical support to the province of Ontario. <clears throat> this annex is now being finalized. <clears throat> FINEP senior officials from Health Canada as FINEP lead and CNSC as federal on-site authority provide a strategic direction to the ADM committee chaired by public safety on recommended actions to support coordination of the federal response at the executive level. <clears throat> the director general's events Event Response Committee, chaired by Public Safety Canada, with the support of DGs from Health Canada and CNSC, oversaw implementation of the response and was an effective forum for clarifying information with respect to managing the radiological hazard. The FNEP tag provided consolidated technical analyses to the GOC and the province of Ontario to support risk assessment, <coughs> decision making, and integrated planning. FNEP tag liaison officers in the GOC and the Provincial Emergency Operations Centres played a critical role in sharing and interpreting te technical information. And finally, as a whole, the FINEP accurately describes the roles of federal partners. <clears throat> the following major successes were also identified. With respect to interaction between federal organizations, there are four major themes. <clears throat> Concerning coordination, the Government Operations Centre successfully coordinated the federal government's overall response operations with the participating stakeholders during the exercise. The interface between the Government Operations Centre and the FINEP tag was noted as being particularly effective. Coordination of communications by Public Safety Canada and technical communications by the FINEP tag were also considered very effective. Concerning linkages between responding organizations, liaison officers and subject matter experts embedded with host organizations provided a vital link that allowed for a coordinated response across departments. The appointment of TAG liaison officers at the Government Operations Centre is considered to be a best practice. With respect to support for planning and decision making, the FINEP TAG was effective in generating and coordinating the technical information and analyses required for response planning by the Government Operations Centre. <clears throat> and concerning technical assessment tools, Health Canada's web-based <laughs> Geographic information tools used by the TAG for managing and sharing technical data and assessments were effective both within the TAG and, its, and with uh, partner emergency operations centres. These tools are recognised as best practices that require further development and use. With respect to federal provincial interaction, which is a critical aspect of the FINEP, major successes were observed in two important areas. The first is support for decision making. The FINEP TAG provided strong technical support to the province through technical liaison officers in the provincial science section and through jointly developed technical information products. The second concerns field operations. Coordination by Health Canada and the Ontario Ministry of Labour of joint provincial federal field activities through the Environmental Radiation and Assurance Monitoring Group was considered to be very successful and the deployment of the joint field command post for that group is also recognized as a best practice. As with any complex event, <clears throat> areas for improvement were also identified and the federal after action report identified 45 areas of improvement which were regrouped into several major themes. 
With respect to interactions at the federal level, these include interdepartmental coordination. Specifically, coordination and communication between federal organizations should be strengthened. For example, areas for further in de development include ensuring follow-up of requests, better definition of email classification and dissemination. With respect to communications, approval processes for public communications need to be better defined, including the role of the Privy Council Office, to ensure that the update and approval of products is timely and efficient. <clears throat> In the area of strategic planning, it was noted that more strategic level information on potential impacts is required to enable the Government Operations Centre to better conduct long-term analysis and planning. And this would include what-if scenarios and longer-term impacts. A related theme concerns TAG operations, where there is a recommendation to further develop the process for generating and sharing technical assessments to ensure consolidated situational awareness and to support consolidated decision making. Finally, concerning resources, the physical space and IT capacity in some emergency operations centers <clears throat> was noted as being insufficient to support the demands of the response. There were also concerns over the ability to sustain operations over a longer term response. As such, resources and surge capacity should also be included in emergency planning. With respect to federal provincial interactions, the following themes were also identified. Firstly, the process for making and responding to provincial requests for federal <laughs> assistance or technical assets should be better defined and coordinated to ensure a common understanding of procedures and good situational awareness across all organizations. Secondly, joint federal provincial field operations should be further documented to better detail the roles, procedures and communication requirements of the field teams. This would also include more comprehensive radiation health and safety protocols for field teams, as well as reconciling dose limits and decontamination standards across governments. And finally, capabilities for post-release technical assessment should be further developed through better integration of field monitoring data into the FINEP TAG assessment tools. This will improve assessment of potential risks over different timescales and better support strategies for managing population monitoring and environmental sampling. In addition to observations from the conduct of the exercise, I would like to briefly mention some of the federal level successes arising from the planning of Exercise Unified Response and the FINEP Validex series in general. We believe that these are equally important outcomes as a lot of focus has been put on developing and maintaining a nuclear emergency exercise culture that sustains and strengthens expertise, capability and readiness across all organizations. To ensure efficient planning of exercise unified response at the federal level, the health portfolio established a core federal design team that included Health Canada, Public Health Agency of Canada, and Public Safety Government Operations Centre. This streamlined federal planning allowed federal partners to focus their involvement on key planning conferences and provided consolidated federal input into the interjurisdictional planning, planning process. Federal trusted agents at the Director General and Assistant Deputy Minister levels were also identified and included in the exercise control structure. ADM level trusted agents assisted the federal exercise controllers during the exercise in adjusting the exercise play as required to meet strategic ex exercise objectives. This proved to be highly effective and was identified as a best practice for future exercises. <laughs> Given the success of the federal planning efforts, the health portfolio has been asked to share best practices on exercise design with other federal stakeholders. And some of the recommendations for future exercises include establishing an exercise governance structure and project charter at the outset of planning to provide <clears throat> oversight, define roles and resolve issues in a timely manner. Including senior trusted agents early in the planning process for future exercises and ensuring an identified federal department sponsors the exercise and leads the federal level exercise and delivery. <clears throat> While exercising emergency plans is very important for testing arrangements and capabilities, it is equally important to build on identified strengths and to address areas for improvement coming out of such exercises. <clears throat> As part of regular planning and improvements under FINEP, we are now working with partners to review all of the findings from the Validex series in order to develop an action plan with leads and timelines to be finalized by end of 2014. As such, Health Canada has already engaged its federal provincial FINEP partners to address recommendations from the Tier 1 and Tier 2 evaluations as we did following Exercise Cool Breeze. To build on the strengthened engagement with provincial, municipal and industry partners as a result of the entire Validex series to further develop plans, procedures and capabilities in a collaborative manner. To further elaborate and test FINEP and FERP arrangements for other types of nuclear emergencies covered by the FINEP, specifically non-nuclear power plant events. 
to develop a regular training program for all staff, including executives, and to continue developing in consultation with partners a multi-year nuclear exercise cycle, including a full-scale national exercise at least every five years in accordance with the FINEP. This is an ambitious program, but we believe it is doable with the support of our partners. <laughs> in conclusion, Health Canada is pleased to confirm that Exercise Unified Response met the federal exercise objectives and demonstrated the federal government's capability to provide an effective response to a nuclear power plant emergency. Health Canada has maintained strong leadership for federal nuclear emergency preparedness response through the FINEP update process and its validation as part of the Validex series of activities, and in particular during Exercise Unified Response. And we will continue to exer exercise our leadership for the FINEP, including federal level follow-up to Exercise Unified Response in cooperation with our federal, provincial and international partners. <clears throat> in closing, I would like to express Health Canada's gratitude to all of our FINEP partners for their support and contribution to the design, implementation and evaluation of the FINEP Validex series and the federal portion of Exercise Unified Response and for their contribution toward ongoing improvements aimed at increasing our readiness and capability to respond to a nuclear emergency in Canada or elsewhere. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention and we would be happy to take any questions. Thank you.